like the dip. Now listen, you're too narrow. Keep your base, you got me? Bring that same foot, same shoulder, all at the same time, keep a base. Here we go. Set, hit! For me, I think my coaching philosophy is about, uh, you know, setting small goals, goals that they can accomplish on a daily basis, you know. Uh, it's really important for me that we get better each and every day. When you step, bring your hand and your foot together. All right, here we go. I know everybody likes to talk long-term goals and talk about championships, but for me, I, I like to, you know, talk to my guys about, you know, you know, I know it's a little cliche about winning the day, about going out to the practice field and, and, and being, you know, a little bit better than we were the day before. Coach Hall is extremely enthusiastic. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Coach Hall is a real uh, energetic guy. He, uh, he demands a lot of us, but uh, I feel like that's a good thing because, you know, we demand a lot of ourselves and we want to be the best. Set, hit. Good. You see how you stay square? Just work on turning your shoulders a little bit more. Set, hit. I think that your players, you know, reflect the attitude that you bring to the practice field. And, and for me, you know, having a lot of energy, you know, and you know, a lot of attitude in the way that I approach practice, I think uh, reflects in the way that they, they prepare and the way they practice. Coach Hall has great experience. Um, you know, he's been at Oklahoma when they won the championship and all the, all the bowls and stuff like that. So you're talking about a guy with, uh, with, with a lot of knowledge. He's been a defensive coordinator at the college level before and uh, just, a, just a true professional. It's pretty easy to build a relationship with him. He's really easy to talk to and he uh, tries to get to know all of us and jokes around and, and makes it easy to warm up to somebody like that. I think for me there has to be a personal side to coaching. I, I feel like if you're going to get somebody uh, to play above and beyond you know, their ability or you know, to run out there on that football field and give it all they got, they've got to feel like there's something in it for them and there's got to be a personal relationship. And, and I want my guys to know that I care about them. You know, we talk about that all the time. You know, you know, we are a family. We spend eight, nine, ten hours a day together. He speaks from the heart, uh, real, real easy to get along with, um, real easy to follow. Um, and I think that's important as a player. You want to play for somebody that, I mean, you can, you can follow. Um, somebody that's, that's straight, to the, straight to the point, doesn't beat around the bush. Remember, three's vertical, two goes under, you go with him right away. Right. I like to teach my guys the game of football. I think, you know, you, you get so stuck sometimes on just the technical side of things that, you know, you, you got to teach kids why and when things happen. I think, from, especially from a defensive standpoint, the thing that I constantly talk to my guys about is anticipation. Why are we running this? You know, seeing the big picture. You know, why are offenses doing what they do? What are they trying to attack? He always says he doesn't want coaching to be our downfall. So he does everything he can and more to put us in the positions that we need to do to make plays and uh, to be successful. When my players are able to understand what, a, what an offense is trying to do or what we're trying to accomplish defensively, then I think they become a coach on the field. I think then it becomes a lot easier to coach that kid down the road because then he begins to see and understand the techniques and the drills that you're doing um, to help him to become not only a better player, but to you know, help us to become a better defense overall. But the main thing is, you just keep getting lined up and keep playing, okay? Anyone have any questions about anything? He's extremely passionate, love to play for him. Uh, he, gets you, he gets you going. Uh, get your juices flowing. Just a great, a great coach. If I come off the practice field and I feel like we've gotten better and that we've pressed with a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm, then I feel like I've accomplished my goal as a coach. Good job today, all right? Make sure we come out tomorrow with a lot of energy. Make sure you eat, Don. Make sure you get a lot of sleep. Make sure you get at least eight hours of sleep. Make sure you're in that ice towel. I'm going to send Cam in there. We're going to take Raw in the ice tub, right? Break us down. Let's go. Get out of here. Dominate, baby. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. Let's go. Jog off. Jog off. Jog off. Jog off.